Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and this really beautiful American Lock Series 5300 was uh, sent to me and unfortunately lent to me by Helpful Lock Picker. If you haven't seen this channel, um, I'm surprised his subscriber numbers are picking up rapidly, um, and he has an excellent channel, uh, very helpful as his name suggests. So, this beautiful lock was sent to me because he was interested to see how I pick the same lock as he did. Um, and this is beautiful and new, uh, very strong uh, shackle spring and core spring. It loves to snap back and listen to that shackle again. Lovely. Really, really beautiful lock. Um, and really gorgeous. I actually don't have a shrouded shackle in American lock. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be gutted to actually return this to him, but return it I will. So, um... It's interesting to pick the same lock as another picker, and I'll link to his, uh, Helpful Lock Picker's video, purely because we'll have different ways of going about it. How does he pick it? How do I pick it? What's his technique? What's my technique? Do they both work well? Yes, actually, um, he picked through this in, uh, in a pretty quick time, although he did say that he found this one a harder American lock to pick. Um, if we look at the bitting, I can sort of see why. It's uh, not a particularly easy bitting with that... Um, high 2 and the low 1 cut and the very high 5. Anyway, we won't need that key. Let's have a go at picking. Um, I always go in with the Mad Bob's 1.2 curved tension wrench just because I can slide it in at the top, rest my thumb on it like this, and that's a comfortable grip for me. And it also means I don't over tension it, I just rest my thumb on. Um, and then let's have a go at picking. Let's just see what um, we, we sort of get out of this. So uh, just rest on there, um, 18,000 pieces and gem, and go. So five, five, three, two, uh, one. Let's go back in again. Um, five, three, a uh, little click on two maybe, one again. Uh, five, four, oh, not four, not yet. Uh, oh, set one there. That's it, nice five, uh, four into a full set, and I think I can feel pin two binding, so let's just poke him up, and we're open. So yeah, really lovely pick, that one. Um, yeah, I don't know how to describe this lock, actually. It's, it's just a really, really nice pick. Um, oh, let's reset that round. So, there we go. Um, it's just a really, really nice pick, and... Um, yeah, it's 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 just a, a beautiful American lock. Let's have a go at picking that again. I just really enjoyed that. Should we pick that again? Um, it's just genuinely sort of a, 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 a pleasant um, and challenging lock. Um, so go in five, three, two, one. Back again. Uh, five. Little movement there. Uh, back to one team set. Three. Uh, one into a false set and we're open. Wow. Yeah, just really good fun lock. I mean, I could, I could pick this all day. I just, I mean, oh, American locks are the best, aren't they? Genuinely. Um, if you've never picked an American lock, um, you must. And they all sort of feel the same. The 1100 series is um, just a, a really nice one to go for because they're relatively cheap and uh, very common in America and the cores in them are just superb to learn off. Um, However, if you're going to buy one American lock, uh, yeah, it sort of has to be this one. This 5300 shrouded shackle is like, um, I'd say, the, the, the creme de la creme of, um, of of American locks. It really is just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lock. So thank you so much, Helpful Lock Picker, for lending this to me because I, I genuinely love this thing. Um, and yeah, I'll be incredibly sorry to see it go, but I'm not going to steal a lock off you this time. Just beautiful pins, absolutely gorgeous. 
Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop the tape, stop the tape. Well, there isn't a tape, but you sort of get what I mean. Um, yeah, I, I sent the first part of this video off to Helpful Lock Picker to say, um, hey, I picked the lock, that was great fun, thank you. Uh, and he said, hmm, the spool pin was in position two, or at least I thought it was. And I double checked my video, and it was definitely in position one. So we don't know how that happened. Um, I do know that it was like that when I got the lock. So it doesn't matter, I've taken it apart. I have now put the spool pin in position two. Let's now pick again, just like you saw on um, Helpful Lock Picker's video. There we go. Okay, so look on five, four, three. There we go, three, two, little click on one. Nothing on one now. Back in. Uh, little click on five. Nothing on four. Three, two. Nice click on two. Anything on one there? Mm, no, okay. Back to five, four. Oh, and we're open. There we go. Okay, now I've got to do a super, super rapid gutting of this. I won't show the key pins this time because that'd be. Um, a bit of a, a waste of time as well because you've all seen the key pins and they are in that right order so all I need to do is quickly uh, I'm, I'm experienced at this now because I've been um, I just gutted it uh, a few seconds ago to um, put in the um, <laughs> uh, spool pin in position too so um, this this really hopefully shouldn't take too long to do as long as I get my thumb on that circlip there so I can just pop it off this there we go good and then I've got a really nice follower I've got the keys let's just uh, it's already picked so let's not uh, go cr uh, do you know what yeah I'm going to turn it back and use the keys and be sensible about this right follower my titanium one from Jim Sis because it's really cool and let's just slide this whole core out there we go um, you see all the key pins at the top I don't need to do it much more than that and now let's drop these um, driver pins out one by one and you'll see that the spool pin is definitely in position two now so serrated pin in one. Oh, spool pin just jumped out into two and then you should see that they all just uh, fall out into that's it the five pin positions there so there you go that's a bit better isn't it okay thanks for staying with us um sorry about the mix-up i don't know why it was like that i uh, i think that the way i picked it i didn't actually drop into a false set anyway so yeah i think i had a deep false set when it's in position one all right just shows you doesn't it different technique uh different uh, pin binding um with that different technique causes the pin to bind differently and may even mean that a spool doesn't fire. All right, see you next time.